Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker podcast that is officially banned by the United States Supreme Court. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. Not a great week for TikTok, huh? Yeah, it's pretty tough. Yep. It's pretty Especially, I don't want to say, I don't want to throw the tinfoil hat on so early in the episode, but the timing of Please it, do. as we get our most viewed TikTok ever, all mm. feels a little too suspicious to me. All feels a little all too does. suspicious. It all does. And 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 TikTok TikTok does know what they do because they're like, hey, you know, haven't posted in a while. <laughs> cool. You you've now what if, posted. What if we gave you what a if we something? give you yeah. a lot of you? You're like, oh, that's great. It's like, mm. so it's like, okay, well, hey, we got some traction. Let me post again. Oh, what if we go back to your old views? Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on now. I don't know. I'm not on it. So this is a. Uh not impacting me too much aside from the whole free speech aspect of it, which I guess does impact me and all of us, all of us in a way starts, Uh, but yeah, it starts. That's how, that's how the revolution begins. So, Hey everyone, all I'm saying is in other countries, you got farmers flinging poop at congressmen's houses and it's not a bad idea. Farmers, if you're listening and we know you are from the demographics, when we look at the pie chart, we see the farmer, the farmer piece of the pie in there. Yeah. It's just a John Deere tractor. <laughs> you uh, can see the tractor, so it's a pretty oh, big. No, oh, it's a it's pretty, pretty big. It's a pretty big show. It's a pretty big yeah. show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, thank you everyone for tuning into another episode of Shoe Podcast. Thank you everyone who checked out last week's episode with Cody. What a fun time! What a good Oof. time! Always a pleasure to catch up with him. Great. Like I said, got off, hop off the call with Cody all on day two of running. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to hit a, I'm trying to hit a seven day streak. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get okay. like, trying to get like the man on the internet. Which one was that? What? The man on the internet that Cody. Oh, in, in gotcha. reference to his ah. Instagram. All right. Hey everyone. Uh, this, <laughs> this coming Sunday, this coming Sunday, what is it? Two days after this episode goes live. This episode is sponsored yeah. by the voodoo vintage flea market. Thank you again very much. Mm. Sunday, March 24th, downtown Lafayette, Louisiana, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be a ton of vintage vendors who will also, some of the booths sometimes also have sneakers for sale as well. That's to point out. Uh, shutting down downtown Lafayette for most of the day, there will be food trucks as well, music. There's normally a DJ out there just for a day of good, wholesome fun, free to enter. Go shop around. And what would it be without yours truly? Your two boys out there will have a tent, will have a booth. We'll be uh we'll be recording a live episode from the street. You can come sit in on it if you want. Live studio audience? No, you can be a guest on the show. You want to be a guest on come the on. show? Come on out. Thank you again so much for having us. We are looking forward to being there. We will also be launching the pre-order of our next piece of merch. That's right. The boys are back several years later wow. than another piece of merch. Teaser? Hey. Do you want a teaser? A little bit. A little bit a little of a bit. teaser. Nothing crazy. Nothing, Nothing crazy. crazy. Nothing crazy, everyone. Y'all don't y'all don't get too don't get too wild out there. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm holding okay. this so crooked. Um, okay. All right. All right. That's enough. That's enough. They'll have to they'll have to pull up if you want to see more than that. Yeah. Piece it piece it together in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. You can visualize it. You yeah. can see it. So. Yeah. Hopefully you got your Kyrie's on. Open your third eye. <laughs> the Kyrie sure. bit does not die on our show. There's. I love it. The Kyrie bit is probably not the highest here. Right. There's kids on the moon. There's the paper yeah, in church. Top. But Kyrie's. In yeah. good competition for Kyrie. third place, I would say. I think so. I think so. He's top five for sure. Yeah. Hey, you want to know what's not top five? This year's Air Max Day. Bam, swinging it's... with the punchline right out of the gate. Engagement? No. Dang. Watching Dang. the video to the end? No. 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 Usually I'm the one with the hot takes, but but I think <sighs> I think you're probably going to take the reins on this I'm one. I'm fired up about it. Air Max Day? More like bare minimum day because they. it's not the Ooh. max, it's the minimum. I cooked that one up in the kitchen earlier tonight. We had sloppy Joe's on one good. burner and that pun on the other burner right and next to it. Oh, we did spaghetti, which uh. is the sloppy Joe of the Italian dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I was on such a roll, but I want that to be like, that was the peak of that. And now, now everyone hanging there, we're going to go to little Valley. We'll pick up again later in the show, but yeah. yeah. yeah um, we'll get you. So this is a great time as well to say, if you're not already, following us on social media at shoe podcast. You can find all of our links in the episode description down below, especially if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I bring all that up because over the weekend 
We ran polls on Instagram, on our YouTube community, and in our Discord to ask people, how are y'all feeling? How are the fans feeling Air Max Day this year is looking? I kind of broke it down three options. They cooked, meaning, you know, like tons of good mm-hmm. stuff. This is a great Air Max Day. Some good releases. Mm-hmm. See you in 2025. I sleep. Oh, oh. And I think we bad. got uh, the most engagement, the most responses on Instagram. The bell curve, mostly some good releases. I think a lot of people... The shared sentiment is like, there's some stuff to look forward to this year, but it's nothing crazy. Um, the next biggest chunk of that was see you in 2025. And then a handful of people saying they cooked, which I don't want to say, get your taste buds checked, but listen to us for 50 minutes and, some and decide, <laughs> but Tony Sasheries would not kill you. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. 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 There you go. You want to give what's your, I've, I've already clearly laid my hand on the table. Your general feeling of this year at the top of the episode. Well, you know, we we kind of we kind of were we're talking a little bit before we started mm-hmm. uh, recording, and before we started recording, I was like, I think this is I was more uh, more positive. <laughs> you know, I was like, until he talked to old cynical Landry over here who <laughs> brought him down. Because I was I was like, it's not it's not bad. Mm-hmm. I I um the more that I have seen the silhouette of the 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 new silhouette that they're mm-hmm. uh, introducing, the more I've kind of gotten to gotten to like it and okay. be like this is this is not bad okay um i had thoughts on it that i was like oh i think this is i kind of like this i kind of like that they're doing this approach and then kind of going on with you and i was like actually i think those are good points and actually, um whack took down took down a couple points i still Ooh. i still would say that i'm i'm above i think instead of saying that this is like a a strong seven or a week eight mm-hmm I probably would say more of like a strong six week seven. Okay. Is probably what I would say. I think I'm closer to like five out of 10 territory. I don't think it's the worst Air Max day we've seen, but it's definitely not in the upper echelon of them for me, but yeah, pretty close. And I would agree with that. I think, I I think a lot of people would agree with that. Yeah. So let's go ahead. We can get into it here. We are going to be talking about, uh, as we've alluded to already, some of the big releases for air max day this year so another time to remind you that if you're not watching this is a visuals heavy episode but you should be able to Mm. see the episode either on youtube at shoe podcast or on Mm. spotify if you're listening we have the video uploaded there as well we are going to start off with one of the bigger releases and that is the return of the nike air max 186 big bubble in the royal blue colorway which um see this has gone back and forth a couple of times also being called like anniversary royal or like sport blue or something like that but i think we're calling it royal blue just og air max colorway but finally getting the big bubble treatment um you know last year's air max day i think one of the big points there was you know the return of well really them reintroducing the big bubble and starting off with Mm -hmm. that anniversary colorway how do you feel about them you know kind of circling back this year but bringing it back in blue i like it uh i think i think it's good i like that they are you know hey that i think they had success last year mm-hmm. um with it i do like the big bubble i do think that mm-hmm. it looks really good um on the air max i think uh, so i i do enjoy that uh it makes sense it's you know you did you hit with that anniversary red so coming back again with a, a very very classic colorway with the blue in the air max, I think it's a good look. I think it's a very clean look. Uh, like I said, they were like, Hey, it worked last year. Why not? Let's just do it again. Yeah. Um, and instead of red, let's hit them with the blue. And you know, I think, uh, I think it'll work. I think people, I would probably say of the air maxes, this is, I would assume going to be the biggest hitter uh, for um, this year. You mean for this year? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, you know, blue, classic you can't go wrong it's a good one i uh-huh. hate to uh i hate to burst nike's big bubble here but i feel like this reintroduction of no the refund. silhouette has not really made the waves that they'd probably hoped that it had you know i feel like for a couple of years now they've been trying to like make air max the next big popular not the next big because it already obviously has been big several times and is a classic but like i think they're trying to make it like the cool thing again um with like you know mm. all the pata collaborations that we got a couple years ago with like the wavy mud guard and then like we're them good. doing the cactus jack ones like they've done a lot of the classic playbook stuff that you would do if you're trying to like make the silhouette hyped again 
And I think just for whatever reason, we're not at a point right now where like in mass, it's really becoming the go-to thing, but that doesn't make it bad. And especially like, I love the anniversary ones from last year. I wear them all the time. This is another great one to add to your collection, especially if you're an Air Max enthusiast collector. I feel like this is a, a big no brainer. For sure. I, it is it is interesting. I, I, I don't know why. I feel like Air Max, um, especially when you look at like the ones in the nineties, like I just think they're in they're in a weird category mm. where I I agree with you. I think people would say they're they're a classic, they're a must have um in a collection that overall colorways probably with everything they've come out are just bangers the silhouette is i mean one of the greatest silhouettes i think that you can have as a sneaker Mm -hmm. but for some reason as all of that like excitement and hype that it has i think it's it's seen not as like a a hype shoe yeah for whatever reason uh it's got its moments it has Mm -hmm. its pieces that you know that are um that are, are like holy cow this is a is a big one mm-hmm. um which which does make sense but i i agree with you i do think air max i maybe like nike's trying to do with the ones in the 90s like as much as people love this shoe they're not considered like hype yeah uh but you know and i, I think that's why people i think are drawn so much to the air like if you are an air max head like if, if you are just absolutely in love with air max i think that's why you love well air yeah, Maxes so much especially from our conversation with cody last week like again this is a great point of like if you're an air max enthusiast this is the like a great fantastic time to be a collector and enthusiast of air max right because like to that point oh yeah they're not flying off shelves they're not impossible to get at least my my impression of of these i don't think they're going to be mm-hmm. impossible to get Um, so like if you're a fan of this, like awesome, more power to you. I like these a lot, but it's just, you know, I I don't know that it's necessarily making like the huge impact for an Air Max day that, you know, we've seen, we've seen kind of in the past when they bring back older stuff to, to have again. No, I, I I think I would agree with that. I think people really liked the big bubble, Mm -hmm. but I don't think the big bubble is enough of a change of the shoe to be like, well, do you want it now? Blue yeah well i think if people have like they got the red they'd be like well i'm kind of set yeah and that's kind of where i'm at as well but i'm also in a phase right now where like you know i i think i've been saying a couple weeks now like i've I've been thinning out my collection of like having eight jordan ones where i'm like okay i have like i might be at like five pairs of air max ones right now so it's like okay i have a lot of air maxes I, i have a lot of good air maxes right and like this is a good one but this is not a I need to clear room off my shelf to make room for these to get in access. Yeah. So, uh, but you want to talk about, you know, last year they did the red this year, they did the blue people think maybe they're not changing enough. You want to talk about changing enough. Let's look at the other big bubble that's uh, coming out this year. And that is the air max one eighty six Royal, but with the volt midsole and the three twenty six on the tongue of the shoe. Uh, If you're not familiar and aware, this is obviously a callback to the Air Max one that they did on the first Air Max day back in 2014, this year, obviously being the 10 year anniversary of it. So that's why they're kind of, you know, run it back turbo, but now in blue where uh, the date March 26th, the date of the first Air Max one releasing way back in the eighties on the tongue and then Volt on the midsole. I think just because like in 2014, I was talking to Alfred Banks about this the other day, shout out Alfred Banks. 2014 to 2016 volt was like a personality right you know like volt was just like so yeah. big like a pop of volt on anything was huge um and i remember not really loving these at the time and thinking like man i just would love anniversary air max ones um and so needless to say i still feel that same way this year i feel like i'm i'm just i feel like i'm at that point right now where i'm like i don't need volt as like no accent piece you know the blue looks better than the red i guess there's there's at least that i think so. uh it's tough well, i don't know if this green well, background on the, the background. blue one yeah, yeah is throwing me off but i i feel inclined to agree with you that like the the blue and green play off each other better than like the red and green you know yeah but uh and, and i guess yeah like you said i mean it's like hey i, I get it they were trying to be like, hey, it's special. It's it's it, our 10 year. Yeah. So, but to me, 
it's your 10 year, you should, I feel like go like huge. Oh yeah. You know, um, because, because it is the 10 year, you know, a 10 year okay. anniversary is, is usually like a big a whole moment. Decade. Yeah. It's a big celebration. And I, and I get this of them being like, Hey, we're paying homage to 10 years ago on the very first Air Max day. Um, which is but, wild to think that was 10 years ago that, you know, this, yeah. if you'd asked me, I was like, Oh, this feels like maybe this was like 2016, 2017, but no, all the way back in 2014. So I, I do get there playing into, but it's also like, it's 2014. So like, it's hard for you to be like, remember these cool nostalgia things. And especially because I, like how you said, like in that year mm-hmm. vault was big the thing but it it's not the thing anymore and like what we said you know how we talked about in um cody's episode with Mm -hmm. the tech fleas yeah at the time it was big yeah but we 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 moved on from it society has evolved so then it's like if you see it you're like i mean okay cool yeah i think it's kind of the same thing with this you're like it it doesn't look great and especially on the same year we're doing this and getting this, you know, which I get was yeah. the whole shtick back in 2014 as well. They did both alongside each other. So like, I think this is cute. This to me feels like this should be like a, if they're doing an air max day in person event and there's a limited run of these, right? Cause with the date on the sure. tongue, like this should be yeah. like your, I was there memento shoot. This doesn't sure. necessarily yeah, need I to like be that. the big one, which, uh, Honestly, maybe I should read through the details here and see if that's what yeah. is going on here. But um, it's a lot of words. Yeah. See this one. Now they're calling it sport Royal. So I don't really know, but <laughs> um, just in general, I, I feel like, you know, with these two being your leading, like, look what we're bringing back this year. Neither mm-hmm. of them, I think necessarily strong enough to really no, make I- airbags. Day feel that special. Yeah. I, I again, I think if this is not, if this is a nine year or an 11 year, I think it's a little bit different. Yeah. But to me, um, I think for a 10 year anniversary, I would love, I mean, like you said, I mean, when, when the, when the Bacons came out, Bacons you know? were 21. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. So like, you know, three years ago, mm-hmm. so seven year anniversary now, you know, I mean, but it's just a weird, it's a weird timing. I guess that's that's yeah. all it is. You think you would be like, yo, let me throw out. It's 10 year. Let me throw out this crazy hitter. Yeah. Well, the people are just going to geek off of. And speaking of, maybe that's what Nike's hoping to accomplish. He's on fire tonight with the segues with their new <laughs> signature silhouette for this year. The Air Max DN. Ryan, why are we on a whole calendar of pages? Why are we not just looking at one? Because, and I don't know that this is correct, but this is what Sneaker News has. Is I believe there are several launch colorways of the Air Max ZN coming. I don't know if they're oh. all officially releasing on March 26th, which is Air Max Day, but that's how uh-huh. Seeker News is advertising Presenting it, and it? they are our source that we use um, for better or for worse. Sorry. I mean, they are the news <laughs> for sneakers. So It's in the we- name. It's a Shoe Podcast Sneaker News. We think very similarly, obviously. Yeah. 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 Um, but yes, minds. Nike's yeah. signature Air Max Day uh, debut silhouette this year, the Air Max DN, kind of a play off of tuned air, uh, the TN in there, but the DN meaning for dynamic air. If you're not familiar, these four bubbles on the back, I think the first two are kind of like you can think of they're in one pod and the back two are in a different pod and the they're set to different PSIs. So from what I've read is that while you walk, it can shift kind of the pressure as needed on your foot and provide more dynamic cushioning. At least that's the, that's the hope and the, that's what's uh, advertised here. Right. Yeah. But I think as best as I've understood, and maybe I'm completely wrong as well. This is saying March 26th or this summer. Thank you. Um, Hmm. This is the one I've been seeing a lot. The Air Max ZN in the all night colorway. They've been talking about this one a lot. Uh, yes, Air Max Day 2024, uh, retail price of $170. And the other one being alongside it, the all day colorway, yeah. which shout out Seeker Politics, the boys over there, killer build out they did for South by Southwest, Insane. where I think they were the first North American retailer to launch this shoe. They did it like a week ago. Um, 
Amazing. And so, okay, Ooh. during Sneakers Live Max Access program. So maybe they're doing some sort of Air Max Day event this year, but it's online only, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Anyways, these two colorways kind of being the big ones that I see talked about. And then yeah. where are we at? Over here. Alongside, there's been several other colorways talked about, like this light or wood, this platinum and hyper blue, this platinum but blue in a different pattern here um and then kind of again volt i mean well, why not nobody knows what point. we're talking about but it's provocative and it gets the people going yeah. um here's the thing volt on this silhouette w- way better like yeah. the volt with yeah. the, i i i think with with the the, the y2k wave that's mm-hmm. going on right now i think this is a i, I think move. this i agree this yeah. silhouette with this color this like very very metallic silver mm-hmm. with that volt green i think is great if this is a good running shoe which i don't know how well it is yeah. this would to me i feel like this is At what a night, runner would would want on the side of Kali sure. saloon and they see you no doubt about it <laughs> didn't mean to dox you you don't live on Kali saloon but <laughs> i don't know really what i was doing but i just felt it you know I just felt into that moment yeah I guess I was crossing college and I was like, bus, no, bus, no, but I'm just trying to go to <laughs> Sonic. Too late. Too late. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Twins. we, we were talking about just right before we started recording. Um, you were kind of excited that they were dropping so many colorways for the debut launch yes. of a silhouette here, right? Going all out for it. And my counterpoint was like, I feel like just in general, when you do too many colorways of like, what's supposed to be a big moment, whether it's, your debut silhouette for Air Max Day or like, you know, a social status collab with Nike and there's three colorways in one collab and you're like, it kind of waters down the whole thing. But then especially Mm -hmm. when your colorways are like, okay, so this one's, this one's black with accents of purple. Uh, This one's the same thing, but now the bubbles pink. Um, This one's kind of the same thing, but just all black now, all blacked Mm -hmm. out. Um, This one's it's, it's that, but if you want a little bit of white to kind of break it up a little bit and then, yeah, and, but then uh, now, if you want, you remember when we said just a, just the bubbles are purple. Same thing. Now a gradient on the upper. Yeah. I just I just feel like you don't need. It's the same issue I'm running into right with the Air Max One big bubbles, where it's like, yeah, you're giving us really two silhouettes for Air Max Day and thirty colors, um, which is a different way of doing it, I guess. You know, but I just. I feel like it, it dilutes it a little bit when you're like, here's our brand new offering in 10 colors. You're I, that is where you had me sold. I think I, I, I still am. I still like the fact that there are so many different mm-hmm. um, colorways mm-hmm. um, with this. It's like, Hey, this is something brand new. If you like it, because I could see someone saying, I don't really like an all black shoe. Well, cool. I got you an all white shoe. I got you a black and white shoe. I sure. got you a blue shoe. So I do like that they're like, you know, to capitalize on it now. Because mm-hmm. in a couple months, when you release the all white or the white black, yeah. I may not be as hype on it because it's not on a drop date. Well, so I like yeah. that they are doing that. I agree with you in the sense of it's like, I think you get to almost kind of like a it's kind of like when your teacher gave you a word count you know or like a limit on like your paper yeah you were like you're 50 something words short and so you just throw in a random paragraph that is just basically the same thing yeah you know so when you have it's like hey these bubbles are clear these bubbles are purple these bubbles are black yeah um you can do it in time i just don't need them all on day one yes yeah. And that's what I agree with. I think like if you just had like the that first one, like that black with the clear mm-hmm. bubbles, and then you slowly release the other where like, hey, these bubbles, you know, we can, mm-hmm. we can have different colors um, on that. I think that would do better. Yeah. Um, the Volt colorway with this one makes sense since it you does. have that on the, yeah. uh, you know, the Air Max 186. Um, I think you probably could have picked either the black and white or the all white. Mm hmm. I think if you do the all white, you don't need to go with like that tan, like sandal, this like, one too. you know, yeah. I don't think you need that. Um, I think the blue is cool, but I don't think, 
I think if you like it now, you would like it a couple months from now. So to me, I think you go, I think you hit the vault now because yeah. you've got the, the Air Max 186. That one makes sense. Blue could come later. Mm-hmm. So after talking to you, I was like, I, I, I do agree with you in a sense of, I do think they did dilute this a bit and don't and didn't need to add so many, but I like that they gave you a lot of options. Yeah. Can I, um, just as I was looking at these, it reminded me of something that like, I want to look at real quick here. Okay. So let's go back. So, right. Okay. Air Max DN, we got like a real brown, bright, loud color. We got a white oh, and yeah. blue option. We got a black and white option over here. The Nike adapt Hirachi, right? Here's oh. a white and black one. Here's like a, a white and bluish <laughs> one. Here's a real brown, like brown. I keep saying brown, which is bright and loud at the same time. Um, Ooh, okay. But I don't know because I trademark, have trademark, I have trademark trademark you can't use that uh, Webster we're on to you because I have this yellow pair I'm probably one of the few people still thinking about the Nike Adapter Rachi but just like <laughs> when I see this like black and white and then this white and blue it just makes me think so much about like oh yeah I feel like we kind of did something like this not that long ago you know yeah. um anyways I think that's a good point and, and I I like what you had kind of brought up with the if the vault mm-hmm. um air max one was like a you had to be there yeah just some I, think exclusivity. That, I think i think that would be great i think if the um the event that politics did mm-hmm. was like maybe sure you you down the line you know do another um mm-hmm. do another run but i think that would have been cool if like hey you kind of got to be there if yeah. you're at the event you get this colorway yeah. don't worry if not it's releasing again you can, mm-hmm. you can get it this year. You're going to have to wait six, seven months. Yeah. But I think to, we, we've brought up a lot of, 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 we don't really have those big moments anymore in sneakers. Yeah. And I think that would have been a great opportunity and, and also a great way for them to maybe, Hey, you want to do a lot of different colorways. Mm-hmm. Maybe you do these things. You have an air max day, um, kind of pop up in these major, city yeah. you know you do chicago because you know Nike, well, and i know it's an air max not a jordan but you know you, i yeah. think you do that in major la cities. new york you do these major cities and then you have like how i think that volt colorway i think does great in like miami or new york mm-hmm. you know i okay. think i think it really does good in that market and then <clears throat> I, I i think that would be really cool i think yeah. that would have been an, a a really cool way to have a cool sneaker market and then a good way to like maybe tone the down, tone things down. So things don't get out of control is like, Hey, this colorway that's releasing in Chicago, mm-hmm. we're going to do another run. Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to do another run. We're going to do another big run. You don't have to, but if you like them and you want to be a part of the event, you can come, but you don't have to worry about it. If you don't yeah. get them here, don't worry. We're doing a big run later on. I think that's probably, that's months. probably at the core of it. Like the big uh, bummer or big, like problem we have with Air Max day this year is that yeah. like, it doesn't feel like they're doing much with the day. You know, it feel it doesn't feel yeah. like they're doing much to make like events out of the day. And that's something that we've seen, I think, a lot more in recent years where like it seems like Nike is kind of putting the pressure and the responsibility on retailers, on boutiques to like make Air Max Day a thing in their local area. Mm-hmm. And, you know, in the case of politics, they got, I assume, support and marketing dollars and budget from Nike for that build out they did, which was crazy. Yeah, sure, I mean, yeah. You want to talk about crazy? This is like shout out to the guys at politics. They did the the Anta and Kyrie release right in Dallas, like just days before what? they did that release yeah. in Austin for the era. I saw both back to back. I was like, man, like politics is crushing it right now. Yeah, they're going. Um, they are going crazy. But they are also doing an Air Max Day event. I know at the Lafayette shop for sure. I'm not sure about other ones as well. The only tough thing about that is that like, and it's just the way the calendar works, like. Air Max Day falls on a Tuesday this week. So it's like <laughs> the odds that too many people kind of in the middle of their day could go to any sort of sneaker event on a weekday is yeah, that's just unfortunate. But like, also I feel like they've been putting the responsibility on boutiques lately. Cause like in the past year, most of like Nike's involvement at the boutique level with Air Max Day has been like, what do they call it? Their fresh air initiative where it's like, Hey, bring in an old yeah. pair of shoes and like, you can get a Nike tote bag awesome <laughs> like, yeah, like what could that be a thing just like year round like that doesn't yeah. it doesn't seem to necessarily tie into air backs all that much just um do, yeah exactly just do cool totes yeah you know, so all the all the different time 
I don't know. We were talking about before we started hitting, before we hit record here, like I think when you look back at some of the biggest, most successful, I guess we could switch off of this for now. Um, when you look back at some of like the biggest, most successful Air Max days, like some of the key components there have been the years where they do like the fan design competitions. I guess it's not fan design, yep. but like they tap like 10 designers to do a competition. That's the year, you know, we got the Wotherspoon Air Max ones. And then the following year we got uh, all the other ones that did like the Shanghai 97s and like the Seoul Ooh, yeah. Korea 97s as well. Um, so that's been a component of it. There's been letting the fans vote to bring back something from the archives, right? Like in the case of, or maybe not always the fan vote, but like in the case of the um, Atmos elephant print Air Max ones or 2021, the Bacons, you know, like just bringing back a grail Air Max Mm -hmm. or the third thing that they'll do is, you know, the new silhouette, which I think they've got to keep doing that because I think that's part of Nike's DNA as like a performance company, even though so much of what they're doing now is just like cool casual wear, but like, for them, I think it's still important to try and prove like innovation, right? Because without that, I think this would yeah. get kind of boring if we're just rehashing all the same retros all the time. You want them to innovate, even if we love it or not. But I think in recent years, that innovation, right? New introductions of silhouettes. You think like the Air Max 2090, which was whatever year anniversary yeah. of the Air Max 90, I think the same year as the Bacons. Um, the Air Max Pre Day, which was a couple of years ago, that was like much more casual and lifestyle. And now the Air Max DN, I don't know. It just feels like none of them are sticking in the way that Vapor Max stuck, you know, and that was a, that that was was an Air Max day introduction and Vapor Max took over. So the 270, another Air Max day introduction, but Vapor Max, the problem is what, like when Vapor Max and 270s um, hit that, that like athletic athleisure athleisure was, was huge. Mm -hmm. So, and what is one of the, I mean, like a Jordan in a, in an athleisure thing, like it looks fine, but it's mm-hmm. not a trainer. Like it's right. not a, like a, and, and Air Max is like when you're like, if you're being like, I want to, I want to have a great, a solid outfit. That's like, that involves some type of sweat pan or something like that. Air Max is like, just looks that's fantastic or any it, yeah. shoe that's going to, that's going to, that's going to be that. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the tough thing with, the, with the DNs is, and I guess kind of like the same thing with the Volt. It's kind of like Nike just being like, Hey, you remember how cool this this thing was? I was like, I do, and it was great, and I and I did I did love it, but it's like it's just not where I'm not nostalgic um, to wear it right now, you know? Yeah, that's not where sneakers are right now. That's not where fashion is right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it, you know, at least in you know uh, the United States right now, who knows? You know, with other countries, mm-hmm. it may be hitting really hard, yeah. and, and you know, and Nike's like, whatever, this is gonna print money, gonna fly the shells in the UK yeah. or something like that. Um, but I, I agree. I think, you know, and, and space it out, you know, maybe, you know, one year is a, as a, a new silhouette and the next mm-hmm. year is a fan, you know, because, uh, I think it'll be cool. I think it'll give time to, uh, you can spend a couple years designing a new Air Max silhouette. Mm-hmm. Um, but then it's always tough to start designing a silhouette now and hope that that's, two that's three the, years down the line it's gonna be yeah that's the industry in general style or, that makes it so but that's the good thing for nike having such a big back catalog is that like whatever the hot thing is like if it's mesh runners you just pull vomero fives back in right you don't have to make a whole yeah. new silhouette for it True. um i think i would say though that air max dn probably the best new silhouette in several years in my opinion you know like i really like them more than i think that i think they look really really good yeah I think the twenty nineties felt like just like a a takedown of the Air Max ninety. The mm, pre day, yeah. I think, just never really worked out. So yeah, the DNs, I you know, all things considered, I think is one of the better new silhouettes in a while. Who knows? It might be one of those things where it grows on us. I just think I'm a little turned off by the blood of like ten colorways right at the beginning, where I'm like, okay, it feels yeah. like before this even gets time to to get hot, it's just gonna kind of like. You're going to see everyone wearing them, you know, if anyone wants them, because there's so many right now, which is yeah. not a bad thing. It's a great thing if you love this silhouette and like you want to get them and wear them. But I think just like it's it's not driving much, me. Man. Yeah, it, it just yeah. tends to get. Like I said, way. I think I would I would love to see them, like I said, just take those colorways and be like, hey, this colorway is specific to this city. We're doing a cool pop up there, mm-hmm. you know, and you don't have to do, you know. 
20 different pop-ups you can do, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, four or five major cities. Yeah. And then you've got like, Hey, here are the two, you know, colorways that are going to be, you know, available for everybody. And then all those other colorways that you saw on Air Max day all around the country will also be, we're going to redo a rerun. So like, don't yeah. have to go crazy. Can maybe hopefully Nike, that's their way of like giving something special, but also understanding that like the sneaker culture and market right now is crazy. And if you mm-hmm. would be like, this is the only time you can get this colorway, people would go, yeah. it would be, it would be hysteria. So I think that would be a good balance of here's a lot of something, but make it special. Mm-hmm. Um, and still allow people to be like, hey, that's cool, but I don't live. That's across the country. Right. But I could still get that colorway later and not have to pay ridiculous resale because, yeah. you know. And then maybe you make it special for, you know, the tag. One tag says 326 and the other tag has, you know, 316. The city. The Stone Cold you know. Steve Austin Air Max. Well, Ideas for free. Ideas for free, everybody. Well, but- Nike, you know. <laughs> Or anybody who's watching. listening, if you're if you're hooked up with Nike, just go ahead and just send send the email. Hit the we'll subscribe button if you could. But yeah, we'll talk to um, him. We'll talk to him. I think probably like the greatest, like the the best way I can kind of like summarize that sentiment of like what you're saying and what that goes to is that it feels like in recent years, one of Nike's big mix misses with Air Max Day has just been not involving the fans and the community and the consumer that much in terms of like their input of feeling like they can kind of influence what happens for air max day or they can participate in it outside of yeah. buying you know it just i think it, that's a really goes, special thing that they had for a while that they've just lost yeah and i and i think while i was saying like 10 years is a, it, it is a very um you know it's a, it's a big anniversary mm-hmm. it's that also is to say it's only been 10 years right yeah so i don't think we're at a point right now where it's like it is just like a uh a, a staple of mm-hmm. it i mean it is but it's not like a, a a a tradition that's been you know that is like a a generational thing of like right. oh man this air max day has been going on for for so long where nike can kind of like pull back and just be like the tradition of air max day they can't take their hand off the wheel and cruise control right yeah, exactly they gotta keep their you know gas. so it's like while 10 years is very special and that is a phenomenal anniversary it's not 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or, or something like that. So I would like to see Nike, I think have a little bit more of like, like you said, bringing people Community into it and engagement. then having more of like a, yeah. a lead to give the, like, Hey, this is our general game plan. Keep this principle, but add your taste to it, you know, for all the individual boutiques or the city or, you know, whatever mm-hmm. it is. But I, I do agree. I think Nike, uh, in order to bring that life back to Air Max Day and to make it feel like this very special, monumentous sneaker moment, needs to have more of that involvement and to, and needs to have that, um, because you know you have something like you know what politics did, which I'm sure you know Nike was like do whatever, and they were like they took the silhouette, their team, their creative team, and just everybody at politics is just unbelievably talented so i mean Mm -hmm. like they went through the moon with it um but not everyone might do that so i think there are some boutiques who are going to need more of a they they can thrive off of more direction whereas Mm -hmm. you may have companies like politics who is like just let me see the shoe and we're gonna go crazy right yeah so who knows let me wrap it up by asking you one question here I, so I think like what a great component to do every year would be allow fans to vote to bring back one grail, right? Just every year, every year you get a holiday Jordan 11. That's the thing that happens every December, every year for Air Max yeah. Day. Let them vote to bring back one grail. That's the thing of Air Max Day. And then you can change whatever else you want around it. If you could vote to bring back one Air Max grail that's never been retroed before, do you have one that comes to mind? Oh, man, I'd have to see a list of. Air Maxes that ha- haven't been retroed, or you know, just if there's one that uh, it's been a while, maybe or anything. I, I mean, my I, Witherspoons are probably like my absolute like favorite. Yeah. I mean, they are fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I'd probably say those. Yeah. Um, because I'm trying to think, like Atmos have done, Bacon's obviously we've gotten. Mm-hmm. 
God, I'd have to go through a list of all of like the hitter of Air Maxes. But like the first one that I would think of is is that that Witherspoon Air Max that just I mean has been not has, been, has been the uh how how do I capture that again? <laughs> yeah, what it feels like I think that's the lightning in a bottle that they'll I don't know that they'll yeah. ever really hit on Air Max Day again, but you know, you'd like to see them try. Yeah. I don't even know if I would even want them to do every year do a retro. I feel like you could like, there's so much great air max history of grails that like, it's been at least 15 years, if not maybe close to 20 that like, Hey, it's been long enough for like, even the OG pairs might be falling one. apart at this point, you know, like I, I yeah. and I think, you know, through them, I know Jordan brands different from Nike, but like, you know, I think they've proven that like you can retro something and it doesn't lose its reverence or its specialness. Right. Like you, you retroed the Atmos know. Air Max One Elephants. You retroed the Bacons, and it's like people who loved and appreciated the original one. I guess know, yes, I they mean, know the retros different, right? You're not like, oh, this is yeah. the exact same thing. So, and I think obviously Nike, I think would be like, hey, these are the four that we have. I mean, because people are already, I mean, there's the the rumor mill going with another, um, what is it, uh, Black Cement Three? That's I think been pretty much confirmed that yeah, that's happening for there you um, go. So, but from what I've seen, people are like. Didn't you just do that? Oh, Which, it, I mean, they did. So, I mean, I think, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's been, it's been a minute, but still, that I, was the fourth. So this this will be the I guess you could say the fourth retro, so the fifth release, yeah, of it. So who knows? But I like I get I I think you know Nike would be like, hey, these are the pool that one gets retro. It's taking out the pool. Yeah. So that, that's the I thing. Yeah. yeah every year you kind of you what Air Max I think uh, you could give people their choices. I uh. If I had to pick one, I'll pick one, but I just wanted to show you like some of the options, like the Pata Air Max ones, mm. Kid Robot Air Max ones, or one that I might vote for, not a collaboration, Flamingo Air Max ones. These to me, I've always They're loved nice. the look of this, of like, this just looks like clean and simple, but these Patas, people would go absolutely crazy on this one. This is one that like old heads would gatekeep, right? And be like, you can't bring that back. That is too sacred. Mm. But, uh, I'm all for, you know, let them eat cake, let the people have it, but there's just, you know, and then the I mean, denim corduroys, the... like there's so many classic air max. There are a lot of, that it's like, I mean, there are a lot of great air maxes. Yeah. How old is, um, how old are cherry woods? I mean, just from looking at that picture of the, the pin rolled jeans <laughs> gotta be old. old. Uh, look at the, and the price on them, obviously insane. I wonder if stock X will yeah. tell us, don't they normally have, it's usually up to the, the top. Who knows? Who can tell us? Someone tell us. 2010, right? It's been 14 years. Like, I think, honey, thank you. The episode not <laughs> sponsored by honey, but um, I don't know. There's just, but it I, can be. I think that would be a great component. If not every year, every other year, just let the fans vote to bring one back. You give them a predetermined bracket of eight or something like that, and they get to whatever one. I mean, is it is one. March Madness. Right. You know, that's, so you, know, you would just, you would think you would think it would it would uh it would it would do well. I think it's a good way to let people feel like they are engaged and excited about Air Max Day rather than just like here is the Volt Air Max one big bubble royal blue and eight colorways yeah. of the Air Max DN. How you know? how far in advance do you have to do a vote though? I don't know how far um I mean you when they did it. I mean, but they did it for the Atmos Air Max One Elephant, right? That was fan voted yeah. to come back, so they've got the formula. They can do it. They had and to I do mean, it like the year before. I I don't think you have to go as far as a year out, but yeah, several months at least. Materials yeah. are going to be your main thing, right? They're already making the Air Max One, so they've got the mold and the last ready to go. So it's just true, yeah. lining up the materials and the box, which I mean, they probably come into standard box even so. Um. All I'm saying is they've done it before. They've gone to the moon before. Yeah. They've seen the kids. They could go back again and do it once more if they wanted to. And they left them. Well, and they're they making the shoes. So <laughs> <laughs> real lax oh. child labor laws on the moon. Look, look out fans of the podcast. New lore just dropped. The kids <laughs> on the moons are actually in a shoe factory. Oh, it's not shoe as cute factory. as you thought it was. Yeah. No, no. That's why we got to go get them. That, that's why we're so adamant about going to get them. Big uh, anti child laborers over here. I know it's a hot yeah. take, but yeah, hot take. Yeah, they're on the they're on the dark side of the moon. Pink Floyd was if you if you that's <laughs> if, why if, if that's you why they didn't reverse. want you. Yeah. That's why they didn't want you to play it in reverse. 
New lore. Lore, <laughs> is, lore is evolving on this episode. Dark Side of the Moon and to... Reverse says, there are kids on the factory. There are kids on the moon. <laughs> Their little fingers can make tight stitches. <laughs> Uh, thank you, everyone. That's so why the much. glue comes off. It's because it's reemerging. <laughs> in the, it's coming in the back gravity. into. It's a different yeah. environment. It's a whole different atmosphere over here. The Earth, the Earth, uh, you know, it heats up in the rocket. So yeah, the glue comes a little. So you know, Nike. That's why Nike doesn't say anything. They're like, man, can't, lore. Can't tell them the reason. Real lore dropping right here for fans <laughs> of the kids on the moon uh, uh, saga that we have going. There you go. You're welcome. Uh, thank you everyone for checking out another episode of shoe podcast. Once again, you can find us online at shoepodcast.com, across social media at shoe podcast, or just check the episode description down below. We will have links to all of our social media, as well as if you want to keep the conversation going with us, please join our discord. That'll be linked in the episode description as well. Uh, we have a good time in there. We love to just chat about shoes and releases and everything like that. Lastly, if you made it this far in the episode, leave us a little comment. If you're watching on YouTube, let us know. How do you feel about Air Max Day this year? Are you excited for anything? Are you ready to just hibernate until 2025? However you're feeling, leave a comment down below. Let us know. If you're listening on Spotify, we'll have a little poll running. There you go. Cover all of our bases Mm. of listener engagement. Boom. Last time, if you made it this far, one more reminder. I don't know how long we'll keep this up on the screen Ayo. here, but this Sunday, the Sunday, 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 after this comes out, March 24th, Sunday, Sunday, Voodoo Sunday. Vintage Flea Market, Downtown Lafayette, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Your boys will be out there recording an episode. Come sit in on one. Come come pre-order a shirt. Buy a sneaker print, maybe. Oops, did they say the quiet part out loud? You made it this far, and we'll let you know. We might have them. There you go. Come tell us how tall Tanner is in person. Wow, you look you're taller in person than you look online. <laughs> The rest of the episode slouch. I get no info. Anything you want to leave the people with before we go? You should spoil yourself because the world is burning and the rich people are only getting richer. Nuclear war is probably within Imminent. two to three generations. And that's given us some time. So treat yourself, but don't um, overindulge yourself. So no single like, use plastics, I, no fast fashion, right? Yeah. So I've been like, hey, I want a, di- I want a new pair of headphones. Why do I have so many headphones? Because I don't know. <laughs> but I've been like, I want new headphones, but I am going to have to earn headphones. Mm. In so, you know, setting a goal for myself and if I can, you know, and having like my wife involved. So it's like, hey, I cannot buy these headphones until I achieve this goal. Um, so indulge yourself, but don't overindulge yourself. It's always mm. about having a nice balance. Um, all to say, don't pay your student loan debt and run up that credit card. Not financial advice. I want to put this right at the end of the episode. That is not financial advice. You could take it to the. We bank. are not lawyers. No, no, no. We are not lawyers. Not financial advice. That's fine. Do not come for us for the <laughs> bankruptcy. Okay. Do not come for us. You're going to be Yo, severely gonna, disappointed when you try to. I'm putting GL on that case. Okay. <laughs> Bringing him out of retirement, taking the jersey out of the rafters. You don't want that in your life, son. You don't want that smoke. I'll tell you right you now. You don't want GL coming for you. <laughs> I love that bit. We're going to leave it at that because that's a real, if you know, you know, sort of bit going on here. That's a great yeah. reference. So thank you so much. GL everyone. fans. Yeah. For the real GL fans. Thank you so much, everyone, for checking out another episode of shoot podcast. We will be back next week to talk about the best sneaker releases coming out in April. So stay tuned. Maybe a special guest. Even, I don't know. We talked about it, but we got to really confirm it. It might happen. It might be a thing. <laughs> that face is so concerning <laughs> one more time thank you for listening i'm your co-host ryan landry i'm your co-host tanner young see y'all next week actually no we'll, we'll see you sunday at the at the voodoo vintage flea market be there be yeah square. obviously because you would be there you would be there right right don't be a dummy don't be a dummy yeah come on love you